where in the world is AI today? I mean, there is so much noise, so much of action, so much of uh, excitement, fear, perils, all that kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. your vantage point, where is AI today? I mean, there's been a lot of uh, progress for sure. Uh, so many things have happened. You know, um, AI has been used um, extensively for self-driving applications, as everybody knows, uh, for perception, specifically understanding the world around us. Um, there's been a lot of hype on like replacing human beings, um, uh, basically drivers with uh, AI and AI related algorithms. Um, I don't think we are there yet. Um, in my mind, we uh, it's going to take more years and more like uh, technology to to be able to replace a human uh, a human's brain with software only software and be like hundred percent self uh, like autonomous. But uh, as as everybody knows, I mean, you can never deny what's hap you know what's basically happened and all the achievements, um, especially on the computer vision front, uh, which is basically all the deep learning stuff. Um, I'm more excited about healthcare applications, as you can tell, because of my transition, <laughs> you know, maybe I'm biased, but from like um, self-driving and uh, to towards like healthcare app applications, I feel like um, there is so many low hanging fruits. There is so many uh, really useful use cases uh, for everybody. I would say uh, what is unique about healthcare is um, uh, it's not a zero sum game. And what I mean by that is, um, everybody benefits from it. Like companies would make a lot of money. Patients with, uh, would would definitely see uh, the value, and you know they will be able to access um, the drugs they need and uh, have like much mm, more um, healthy experience when they deal with the healthcare system. And um, and there's so much to do, and and there are real applications, and you know, uh, and a lot of them actually to me, uh, another really nice aspect of it, they are going to be augmentation to the current processes and procedures uh, within the healthcare system. You're not going to really replace anybody, any human being, but then you would actually make um, their lives easier and also. Um, uh, it basically improve their experience what in on, in whatever they do. And again, I have uh, been um, lucky enough to work on a couple of different initiatives on that front. I'm happy to go deeper into them. Uh, generally, what I'm thinking is, yes, health, um, AI has um, done a lot over the past 10 years or so, and there is so much more that is to come, but it's all about the right use cases in my mind. 